How's it gaming guys? I'm Film Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. We're at the very edge of Route 31 and we just got into a fight. Dang, I was hoping we could make it to uh, Vault City without a fight, but that's okay. It's just a Zubat, which we already have. So we're just gonna run away because poor Flopsters is tired. Uh, she has no nothing to do. She, she can growl, but it's not gonna help us any right now. So, hello. Uh, I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. You're probably talking about Geodude. Geodude is very strong against Faulkner's gym. So if you don't have something good, that's a great one to get. But we're going to get something uh, a little bit better later too. So Route 31, Violet City, Cherry Grove City. Uh, we're still going to use Flopsters. Um, because thankfully Flopsters is not weak to Faulkner, uh, Faulkner's attack. Which I thought he was because um, uh, Dan or Fanpy is a, uh, is a ground Pokemon. I just thought flying type was strong against ground, but it's not the case apparently. Hi there, did you visit Sprout Tower? No, I just, I didn't even get to your town yet, man. I came too far out. I better phone home. Uh, ah, yeah. I guess we do have a phone, we could do that. This is Violet City. The first real big town of the game. We're just gonna get Flopsters nice and rested up first. Good evening, you're out late. Well, thank you. I like how they mentioned that too. If it's night time, they actually say something about that. Alright, everyone's nice and rested. Everyone else was nice and rested anyways. It's really just Flopsters that we really wanted to make sure it was okay. Alright, and what do you want to say to me? Pokemon are smart. They won't obey a trainer they don't respect. Without the right gym badges, they will just do as they please. Oh yeah, so at certain levels, uh, your Pokemon will get a little too full of themselves, and they actually won't listen to your directions unless you have a certain amount of, of gym badges. You're never really going to reach that in, in regular play. That's only if you're like, oh, I'm going to get a Legendary from my friend who's level 90. Well, he's not going to listen to you because you don't have all the badges, so... It was around three years ago. Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon, but justice prevailed. A young kid broke him up. Yes, uh, really just basically stating that this takes place three years after Pokemon Red and Blue. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. Yes, we met him in uh, Red and Blue. Hello, come here. Ghosts are rumored to appear in Sprout Tower. I mean, ghosts are rumored to appear in Route 30 and 31, so it's really not that weird. They said normal type Pokemon moves had no effect on ghosts, and that is actually very true. Uh, we cannot attack with uh, Flopsters right next. Flopster only has Tackle, uh, which is a normal type, and normal type stuff will go right through ghost Pokemon. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Bell Sprout? I want to trade it for my Onyx? I don't have a Bell Sprout, but we know where to get one, and we definitely want to do that. You don't want to trade? Oh, I do. I'll need to get one, though. Pokemon you get in trade grows quickly. But if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. That's very true. I like how very, uh, very uh, traditionally Japanese um, Johto is. Like, Gen 2 is very ba very much based on tradition and mythology compared to some of the other um, generations. I think that's really cool. Really, really spiffy thing. We have, we have a, a almighty little tree that we can't cut. Oh, poor us. Don't worry. Sooner or later. What is this? This is the learning area. Earl's Pokemon Academy. Yeah, this is like the tutorial area, which is in the third town of the game. I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. Yeah, it's not that weird. I know, it's just teach. I'm just being a jerk. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself in battle. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. It sure is tough taking notes. Yeah, I, I hear you. I've got a little book of notes right now. Taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I'd better copy the stuff on the blackboard, too. Is this anything? It's the kid's notebook. Catch Pokemon using Pokeballs. Up to six can be in your party. Keep reading? Yeah, sure. Before throwing a Pokeball, weaken the target first. A poisoned or burned Pokemon is easier to catch. A burned? That's that's so morbid. Some moves may cause confusion. Confusion may make a Pokemon attack itself. Leaving battle clears up any confusion. Keep reading. People who catch and use Pokemon in battle are Pokemon trainers. They are expected to visit Pokemon gyms and defeat other trainers. Oh, they're expected to. Next page is blank. Hehehe. <laughs> I haven't written anymore. Yeah. I think this is just, um... Usually it's just all the, um... Status, yeah. Status, yeah. This is poison, sleep, freeze, burn, and paralyze. Uh, poison, you get uh, HP zapped from you every turn. There's two types of poison. Usually there's a poison and badly poison. Uh, badly poison gets stronger every turn. Sleep means you can't act, you can't do anything. Freeze is the same thing, except you can only um, stop being frozen by either a, um, a freeze heal or something, and or a fire move. Uh, that one's really powerful. You don't see it very often, though. Paralyze is you have a chance to not um, do an attack. Uh, and your speed falls dramatically. And burn is um, kind of like poison, except your uh, attack also falls dramatically. So, you don't see burn or uh, freeze very often, but you do see paralysis, sleep, and confuse a lot. Um, Violet City. The city of nostalgic sense. Alright, and here's our first gym, which we won't be doing right now. 
Faulkner from the Violet uh, Pokemon Gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. Well, that's good. Violet City Pokemon Gym, Leader Faulkner, the elegant master of flying Pokemon. Oh, jeez, hello, you are a trainer. Why did you spin like that? Battle Gym Leader, win you did? Are you Yoda? No, I didn't. Is that so? Then study shall you follow. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for showing more of the... Yes, thank you. Appreciate that, dancy fool. Here, teacher I am. Good it is you study here. You're a teacher there? Ugh. Are you there now? Now that you've walked into the thing, are you actually there? Oh, cool. I like that. Earl I am. Wonderful. Our Pokemon, yes. Teach you. I will to do a better trainer. What you want to know. Want to be a winner is you? Good. Teach you. I will. And battle Pokemon top on list. Jump out. For See, this is not helpful. What if your little kid and just like, I don't understand what this guy's saying. Change order and list, make battle easy, maybe. More from me you want to hear? So want to know how to raise Pokemon well? Fine, teach you I will. If Pokemon come out in battle, even briefly, some experience points it gets. At top of list, put weak Pokemon. Switch in battle quick. This way, weak Pokemon strong become. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, put your weak Pokemon at the, begin, uh, the, the top of your list. That way it'll be the first to pop out in fights. And then you can switch it over. It's a good way to, treat, uh, to teach um, weak Pokemon that you've just gotten, basically. Uh, oh, we don't want to do it down here yet. This is to the next area. But we might as well get a Poison Cure. Or Paralysis Cure Berry. Yeah, okay. Not that we were getting par paralyzed around here, but... I don't think it was. Uh, I saw a Willy Tree up ahead. If you touch it, it squirms and dances. Cool. Up here is Route 36, which is not where we need to go at all. Um, but it is a good place to get some Pokemon. We might visit there later. You're not blocked off from it, so you can get stuff right away. Uh, she uses the names of her favorite things to eat, for the nicknames she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. People talk so weirdly in Pokemon games. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Okay. Strawberry, Pidgey! I'll be, I'm the weird guy. I actually don't normally name my Pokemon in games. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go, I think, was the first Pokemon game where I really named my Pokemon on a regular basis. Question of the day, when you play Pokemon, do you name your Pokemon? I'm weird. I, I know that it's the weird thing that, that the weird people that don't name their Pokemon. I don't know why I don't. I just, I don't know. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer? If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. And up here, we have an optional small dungeon, uh, which is Sprout Tower. Experience the way of Pokemon. Um, I do want to do it because I, I still want, uh, oh, I should go to the Mart, because I still want uh, Flops just to get some experience. He is, she is way too low level to uh, take on Faulkner right now, though we could fight one of the, the trainers in Faulkner's gym. When you first catch a Pokemon, it may be weak, but it will eventually grow to be strong. It's more important to treat Pokemon with love. Yeah. Pokemon can hold items like Potion and Antidote, but they don't appear to know how to use man-made items. That's a good idea. I like that a lot. Welcome. How may I help you? Um, we can buy one Pokeball and a Potion. Uh, not much I can do right now. Flower Mail. I don't even know the point of the mail in this game is. Uh, you can also buy those, um... Uh, X, X defends, X attacks, X speed. They dramatically increase that stat for that fight. I need to leave. Come on, guys. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Um, let's go to the gym. We'll see what the gym's like. And we'll, we'll get a fight or two. Uh, depending on how many people are there. Here we go. The first gym of the game. And you got the guy who wants to uh, help out. Like in Pokemon Run Blue. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. And uh, that's why you don't want to use Chikorita in this gym. That's why Chikorita is kind of the, the hard mode of this game. Well, City Pokemon Gym. Well, we have two fights here. Let's see what we can do with Flopsters. Let me see if you're good enough to face Falcon. Okay. And we got... Oh, Bird Keeper? Bird Trainer? Bird Keeper. Abe wants to battle. Or Abe, I guess, if it's traditional Japanese. Oh, Spiro. What level we got? Level... Nine. Wow, Okay. That's uh, fairly strong. Mind you, if we had Flopsters right at the beginning of the game, uh, then Flops would be very powerful right now. How are we going to do? Oh. No. Don't peck. Don't peck my eyes out. Could use Growl. I'll weaken it and then just use a potion to heal up again. That would take a while, though. Down one. And... It looks like he only has Peck, too. I'm down two stages. Uh, I think the lowest you can go is five stages for most stats. I'm actually not sure on that. Let's see. Uh, no critical, thank you. This is at least going to be a lot of experience. Two levels higher? I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, he's like, 
potion. There's only 20, but still, I've got a couple of them. It's not the worst thing in the world. Still doing three to me. Let's do one more. He's faster, too. Spear's fairly fast, though. Flopster's is a big elephant. He's not a fast, fast Pokemon. She's, she's really slow. All right, let's start attacking. Oh, I'm still doing three. Dang. So it really didn't matter that I used another growl. That's the problem with like this point of the game. Like, I'm so weak. Flopsters, oh no. The problem with Flopsters, too, is that uh, she won't get a an attack until, I think, level nine. I don't know if it's any good. Um, her first really good uh, attack is not until level like 33, but there are ways to teach our Pokemon actual moves, and we will be doing that once we get some of those items. So it's one of the reasons why we actually want to uh, take out Faulkner. Um, because, you know, Faulkner will give us one of those moves that we want to use for Flopsters. So, two potions, my goodness. But at least good experience. Probably not enough for a full level, but I mean... And... There we go. 111, wow. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, there's only one, uh, the one Pokemon. This can't be true! Phil got, ooh, a good chunk of money, though. Thank you. This is pathetic, losing to some rookie trainer. Yeah, it is pretty pathetic. I'll be right back, I'm just gonna go heal up Flopsters. All right, nice and healed up. I like how the uh, <laughs> the gym makes like a dollar sign. It's kind of interesting. The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. And yet, you'll probably only have one bird Pokemon. <laughs> and that'll be it. But, ooh. We keep a rod, send out Pidgey. Okay, Pidgey, but you have two Pokemon, so definitely more dangerous. Level 7. Flopster should be able to take care of Pidgey without any real uh, problem, hopefully. Yeah, miss, that's right. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a a, um, a Spearow next, so I probably won't be able to take care of it by himself. So you might have, I might have to switch over to Chikorita, but I'll still get Flopster some experience points, so definitely not bad. Come on, Flopster's good for, good for a critical hit. Those are always fun. Always, always useful. Yeah, there you go, good. Yeah, we'll definitely make this fight. Oof. One more hit, hopefully, hopefully. For lucky. Oh, let's just tackle, 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 tackle. Uh, kill. Okay, we're good. Whew, just made a Flopsters. 82 experience points, nice. Awesome. Oh, no, I don't think Flopsters learns his first attack at level 9. That's, I'm being silly, that's Defense Crow level 9. Uh, Pidgey again, okay. I will not change Pokemon, but I will as soon as your Pidgey's out. Uh, it's one level. Should I use a potion? No, no, it's not worth it. just to waste my money if I can just switch over. Chikorita. Flopsters thankfully has a decent amount of exper uh, HP, though, which is pretty cool. More, more HP than Chikorita level 9. So that's pretty nifty. And tackle. Um, unfortunately, using Razor Leaf won't be any good because Razor Leaf is not strong against Pidgey. He's actually very weak to Pidgey. So uh, there is something you can do. Uh, so Faulkner has two two Pokemon. Uh, so what you can do is if you want to like level up your character and you don't have any money, let's say pretend I don't have any very much money. I don't care about money. Uh, send in your Pokemon, take out the first Pokemon, and get a lot of experience points because it's a gym leader Pokemon. They give out a decent amount of experience. And then just die against the second one. If you don't make it, that's fine. You'll restart at the Pokemon Center you visited last, and you'll be able to fight Faulkner again and get more experience points. It's slow, I guess. There's better ways to do it, but it's, it's kind of a way to just kind of keep fighting them, I guess, if you really wanted to do it like that. Gah! What a, what a thing to say. Oh, some money, though. Faulkner's skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. Believe me, I won't be. So let us leave. We will not be attacking uh, Faulkner this episode. We definitely want Flopsters to be more powerful. So, and a way to be more powerful is to go fight Pokemon. It's the only real way to get more powerful. I guess you use Rare Candy. That's an item that raises a Pokemon to a single, uh, a, a, by a single level. If there's many ways, ways we can do this, we can go to Sprout Tower, uh, or we could go and grind and catch Pokemon. Uh, out at Route 31 and the Dark Cave. What we're probably going to do, though, right now is I think we're going to go to Bellsprout Tower. Right up here. Right up here. And the Sprout Tower. Bellsprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. Yeah, it's a very, again, very traditional Japanese, like the music and everything. And See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Very interesting. 
I like how they put little side quests like this. Our tower was built long ago as the place for Pokemon training. Only if you reach the top will you obtain it in HM. HM stands for Hidden Machine. It's a weird name for it, but whatever. Ooh, and we get our first um, spinner. So unlike Red and Blue, trainers in this game can actually turn around a lot, which is really kind of a cool idea. So you can sometimes sneak by them, but sometimes you can't. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Every trainer in here, I believe, has a Bellsprout, which is not good, because Bellsprout is, Bellsprout is strong. Um, Sage Nico is strong against uh, our our flops group, but that's okay. We're going to be doing what we did uh, with, oh, it was almost level three. Let's see how this goes, actually. Faster. Ooh, well, that's not bad. But yeah, always uses Vine Whip, which is strong. Oh, it's not too bad, okay. Um, probably should have come in with a couple uh, potions or whatever, but this isn't too bad. Thankfully, we should be getting some uh, decent experience. Ooh, yeah, no, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna switch out for Chikorita during the Bell Sprout fights. Oh, now you get a curl. Thanks, Lobsters. 84, not the worst, but yeah, they all have Bell Sprouts. It's the same fight over and over again. Weirdly enough, Bell Sprouts are not um, the Pokemon you can find here, as you can see on the side. You can catch uh, Rotatas and uh, Gastlys, but Gastlys only at night, which is good because we're at night right now. Um, unfortunately, Flopsters can't attack Gastly if we do find one. Uh, but we have Chikorita for that just in case. Uh, though I wouldn't be surprised if, if Chikorita would accidentally kill it. But we'll try to catch it anyways with um, however many Pokeballs we have. Which I don't think is many right now. So uh, We will be skipping some fights in this game. Simply because uh, there's, one, too many fights in this game. Uh, but because there's just a lot of the same stuff. Like I said, every fighter in this uh, in this tower uses the same Pokemon. That is Bellsprout. So we're not going to see all the fights here. There's no point to it. It's just going to be the same fight of Bellsprout versus Bellsprout, Bellsprout versus Bellsprout. So, unless something crazy cool happens, there's no point. Oh, Jigarita gained a level. That's good. At least it's stronger. And we'll go back to uh, our Flopsters. And then back to Chikorita again. That's basically what we'll be doing in this uh, tower. There's not a lot of trainers, so don't worry. Uh, but we get into dungeons and stuff. We start fighting the same Pokemon that we're not really wanting to fight. We're going to be doing this a lot. Uh, I did this in Red and Blue as well where basically if the fights aren't important or anything like that, we are going to be skipping some. Uh, not all, because again, we do want some actual gameplay in this Let's Play, but we're not going to see them all, because just, it's just redundant as hell. So, ooh, nice crit. Oh, that wasn't a critical, that was just an attack, wow. That's fine, that's fine by me. Makes these fights faster, man. Absolutely. Down you went. Alright, Nico, you're done. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Well, you're only using Bell Sprouts. Plus, it's a good way to get some money. Oh, hey, youngster Joey. Yo, Phil, how you doing? This is Joey. Got a minute? My Rattata's looking sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your party. Oh, yeah, I saw a Wap Poliwag. I thought about it going for it, but I decided to work with my one and only right to the extreme end. All right, later. You're weird, Joey. But we like him. We all like Joey. Uh, but yeah, I guess Poliwags are, might be easier to get right now uh, out in Route 30 and 31. We definitely want to go back and get them sooner or later. Paralyze heal. Thank you. Very nice. I am okay with that stuff. As far as I've gotten a random battle yet. There are random battles. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Whee! See you in a second. Sage Chow is defeated. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, I like all the names here, uh, the names for all the characters, they change depending on kind of what they are, because all these guys are monks, they have kind of monk-ish names, uh, like Nico, Chow, it's not like Ben, you know, all living beings coexist through cooperation, we must always be thankful for this, I agree. Um, also, uh, Flopsters hit level 9, which got uh, Flopsters Defense Curl, so in my opinion, better than Growl. Uh, growl affects the Pokemon you are fighting, uh, which means once you defeat that Pokemon, like we did in... Um, the gym, uh, the the lower attack no longer applies, obviously. But with Defense Curl, that brings up Flops Flopster's specific defense. So it doesn't matter how many Pokemon we defeat in that fight, Flopster's will always carry that kind of buff. So I like it better just because of that. Sway like leaves in the wind. No, I'm going to kick your ass, buddy. Oh, I'm weak. So this actually was a... Uh, Sage Edmund. So, yeah, I guess sometimes they do have names like Ed. <laughs> I tried to copy Bellsprout's gentle movements for battle, but I didn't train well enough. That's okay. Still doing great. Believe in yourself, buddy. And what do we got over here? Ooh, a potion. Very nice. I'm okay with those right now. 300 bucks, basically. And a couple more trainers just right at the very end. 
I trained to find enlightenment in, enlightenment in Pokemon. Sage Jin was defeated. So Jin actually had a uh, level 6 Bell Sprout, so much stronger, but still not enough. My training is incomplete. I like the name Jin. Uh, it's a really cool one. As Pokemon grow stronger, so does the trainer. No, wait. As the trainer grows stronger, so does the Pokemon. I've been playing a lot of Ghost of Tsushima lately, uh, and uh, it's definitely a fun game. The main character of that is also named Jin, so I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. Ooh, that sounds something that I might find useful. What a boring name, Neil. You got Jin, you got Neil. It was my head that is bright. <laughs> yeah, you're bald. Let there be light on your journey. Did you say something like I talked to you afterwards? As Pokemon grow. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Oops. Uh, I thought I talked to him again. Oh, you're a fight. I don't know. You're just kind of out of nowhere. I thought you'd just be like a regular guy to talk to, not a fight. <laughs> Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I want to trust my Chikorita right now. Oh, he's about to use a Hoot Hoot. Ooh, okay. Chikorita's almost dead anyways. Poor thing's been uh, taking a lot of Vine Whips. Let's go Flopsters. He has a Hoot Hoot. I like this guy. He mixed it up. This guy's um, Troy. Um, sage Troy. So I guess anyone's name can <laughs> work as a Sage in this game. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We're a little stronger. We're level 10 now. Good for Flopsters. Using Growl. Ah, good. It failed. Good. I'm okay with that. Two more hits, I think. That's how much tackle will do. Okay, three. That's not bad. Yeah, Flopsters definitely gained a lot of levels. A lot of um, uh, experience here. Ooh, Foresight. Ooh, what does that do? I mean, Hoot Hoot identified Flopsters. So I think that means... I don't know. Does it mean that he'll know what move I use? No, he can't. How can he tell what move I'm going to use? I don't know what Foresight does. Does it see what, like, type I am? Because that's kind of a cool idea. I mean, if you already know the Pokemon, what's the point of that? Whatever, he's dead. I got most experience points. Yay! Sorry, Troy. Though, I appreciate you trying something new. Yes, your trust is real. Money, money, money. I guess there's not any fights here. I haven't gotten a single fight. This is really weird. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It's, it stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. <laughs> Scott's using an escape rope. There he goes. I do like how it shows you what an escape rope kind of is and how it works and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. Phil found an escape rope. I'm legit surprised I didn't get to, didn't get to do a single fight. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, did I do something wrong? Like... Well, it's a ghastly. Let's see what we can do with this. Level three. What should I do? <laughs> um, I have four Pokeballs. I, the problem is I can't attack. Um, who do I have in my party? Pidgey. Geodude. Ooh, Geodude. No, we still have a Tackle. Ooh, Peck. There we go. Spearow can actually attack Ghastly, so we might have to give up our Spearow. And, uh... It might die. That's fine. Oh, it doesn't affect. Nice. Because um, Peck is a flying type attack, so it won't uh, it won't go through Ghastly. So I actually do some damage here. Because uh, if I used Razor Leaf uh, by, with Chikorita, then that would just kill the Ghastly, kill the ghost, the ghost that's already dead. Good. Okay. Perfect. Good job, Spiro. I do like Spiro. Really, really go cool Pokemon. I really like it. All right. Pokemon go. Ghastly becomes Hunter, and then after being traded, just like um, the Geodude line, uh, ooh, ah, damn, uh, becomes Gengar. You do need to trade. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have any specific items equipped on, uh, on on Haunter at the time. You just need to trade a Haunter in order to get Gengar. And Gengar is actually a Pokemon that I used in uh, my Red and Blue uh, uh, lineup. Dang. Come on, man. Two Pokeballs left. Come on, don't make... Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Waste four Pokeballs, not get something. So that's three to my decks. The Gas Pokemon. It wraps its opponent in its gas like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. Lost. Blah. No, thank you. No, thank you. And. I'm glad we did that. No, we can talk to this guy. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Oh crap! Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Oh dang! I didn't think you were final. I thought that was the end of the episode. Oh no! 
We're going over the 25 minutes. Sage Lee wants to fight. Let me guess, a bell sprout. Oh, dang. This is not good. Well, Flopsters, what are you going to do, man? I need to, I need to make sure um, Chikorita gets, uh, gets some health. <sighs> Come on, get a critical. That would be so helpful right now. Oh, wow. I love you, Flopsters. Come on, survive this. Just survive this. Oh, don't move. Uh, don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay, we're good. If, if the status bar of a Pokemon disappears, that means the attack will have an animation. If there's an animation, it means it will hit. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Oh. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a, a sacrifice play here. Send up Pidgey. That means unfortunately Flopsters won't get experience points for this fight, but I need to not have Flopsters die. So let's use our potion. Oh, I have two potions left, jeez. Oh, and Chikorita. Chikorita will be able to survive this without any real problem. Ugh. Oh wow, that's not too bad actually. We're good. I guess we can uh, switch over to Chikorita. It means Pidgey will get some experience, but that's not really a big deal. And oh, I only got eight tackles left. Oh man, this might not go well for me. Holy crap! Get a critical. Critical would be very nice. Okay, we should be okay. Yeah, we should be fine. It looks like it's four four tackles to take out the Bellsprout level 7, so... Oh boy! I need more moves! I'm gonna need more Pokemon sooner or later, too. Yay! And, hey, level's good. Definitely not bad. And Reflect, very nice. Let me guess. Oh, Hoodoo! Okay! Ah, dang. Well, Flopster still can't really, um... Well, it depends on the level here. Well, 10. Oh, oh man. This might be bad. Oh, let's see what happens. Okay, tackle. Whew, not Peck or Gust. That's definitely good. Oh, dang, it missed. I think that still, yeah, that still uses up a tackle. That's the worst part. Oh man, this is this is gonna make the episode a lot longer. But at least it's a uh, it's an interesting fight. Okay, good. We're gonna use this opportunity to actually um, use a potion on uh, Flopster. That way, when Chikorita dies, which unfortunately looks like will it will happen, Flopsters will be fine and able to take out the rest of this fight. So it could be a lot worse. Goodbye, Chick. Oh. One more, one more attack I can do. Thank you, Tikarita. You you fought to the very end, man. I do appreciate it. Flopsters, let's do this. Apologize for the longer episode, guys. I really should have. I, if I if I knew that guy was a fight, I would have kept the fight. I would have stopped the episode there, um, and not uh, not have gone into this. But it's too late now. So longer episode it is. Oh my gosh! Don't lower my attack. Oh, you really, you really just want this this uh, episode just keep going, but not attacking Flopsters. So I'm okay with that. Oh my god, really? Accuracy is bad. Unless Foresight increases the uh, amount of like ev evasion, I guess maybe that Hoo has for the next attack. That would make sense, I guess. I don't really know. And there we go. Okay, cool. Level 11. Nice. Alright, Lee. You've wasted my time long enough. Ah, excellent. A lot of money, though. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Huh, I was going to explain it as we were playing, but I'm actually just going to uh, do that next episode. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Vilas Gym. I should have had an escape rope. Hope you learn and grow from your journey. All right, whatever. Next episode, we'll meet at the at the front of the Pokemon Center, and we'll go from there. I'm Film Blanks. See you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends, and consider supporting me on Patreon.